when people think of support, they think, you know, you got to be in the back line uh, healing your teammates. Mm -hmm. But with Moira, it's different, a limit to her healing. So she needs to be with the tanks. My name's Cameron. I'm with the Overwatch team. I'm a support player. I go by Seed. And I'm Tanner. I'm team captain and DPS player for the Overwatch team here at Wichita State. And today we're going to be talking about uh, positioning and why it's the, the most important, important factor of Overwatch. So there are like three important uh, aspects that makes a good player. Mechanical skill, being able to aim and shoot things. Your uh, game sense, which is knowing your own cooldowns, the cooldowns of your uh, opponent's team, as well as ultimate tracking. And the most important of the three, I believe, is positioning, knowing where to be at all times and where your teammates are and being aware of the positioning of your opponent. You can't work on the other two without positioning. I'm gonna be looking at this mostly through a support lens because that's what I play the most, and I believe the positioning is singularly the most important for support. The most important aspect um, is being able to stay alive in Overwatch. It's great if you're getting kills, sure. Uh, if you can get an early pick off, that's great, but you need to not die. If you die and you're holding a team real close, they have respawn advantage, they can come back, and that plus one advantage that you have is not really an advantage. You also wanna make sure you don't stagger yourself because you can stay alive, but the other team can just stagger you for 10, 15 seconds, and then right. your whole team's waiting for you to respawn. Right, and all that goes back to being just where you are. Um, support players should not be with your tanks unless you're playing a support that requires it. You should be in a place where you can maximize your output while also denying the output of your opponents at the same time. Yeah. Because if they're running, you know, Reaper, McCree, Right? You don't want to be close to their team if you're playing Ana. Yeah, you want to be long range. You want to be as long range as you can. And on the opposite of that, if they're running snipers, you can't be off by yourself. Or, or if you are out by yourself for some reason, the situation happens, you can't be out in the open. You got to know where you are at all times. Yeah. I believe. It's very situational. Yeah. Moira is an exception to most supports. Uh, when people think of support, they think, you know, you gotta be in the back line uh, healing your teammates. Mm -hmm. But with Moira, it's different, a limit to her healing. So she needs to be with the tanks. You need to be aware of where your DPS are. Mm -hmm. And when they need healing, you need to be in a place where you can throw an orb to them. You can fade there real fast if the tanks don't need help, stuff like that. Yeah. You know, most support heroes do have some sort of at range healing. Even Moira does when she can throw the orb, but it's not the most reliable. Other heroes like Ana, uh, Zenyatta, Lucio. Lucio's another exception to being able to heal only within a certain range. Right, yeah. Because he's got that. He only has that radius, yeah. yeah, yeah. He has the radius, and you would know you've played a lot of Lucio. Yeah, you yeah. really get on him. I've got one on Moira here from Blizzard World, where I had a, a, a quintuple kill. Just knowing where where I was at the time, my tanks were really low, so I, um, I so immediately you're standing behind them. Yeah, I immediately positioned myself behind. At the start yeah. of the clip, I was close. I was pretty far up front, trying to you know DPS, which eh, maybe not the best. Moira, Moira can do that sometimes. Though. Moira can do that sometimes, but um, I saw that they were low, so I immediately popped my ultimate and uh, focus on healing my tanks and doing as much damage as possible. Mm -hmm. Like I said, the positioning allows you to maximize your output and deny your opponents at the same time. Yep. And that's a really good clip, I believe that shows that. And the beam also goes through enemies and yeah. teammates. Yeah, so. and you can see the Baptiste ult went up there too, the little uh, transparent square. That uh, doubles the opponent's damage. So you see me duck behind the wall a few times to make sure I don't get, you know, uh, injured whenever our barrier was dropped. So that was pretty good. Uh, it's on Zenyatta this time, so you'll notice I'm not nearly as close to my team as I was on Moira. And this is our se uh, second point hold on Hanamura. Um, the enemy Reinhardt comes in. I know he has Earth Shatter, so I position myself to be as far away from that Rhine as possible. And he does land quite a big Earth Shatter. And I was ready there with my ultimate ability. Mm -hmm. I just pressed Q and I kept my entire team up. Otherwise, we probably would have lost that fight because we lost three players to that one ultimate. So again, knowing where I was yeah, at the time. You stayed high ground there and the rest of the team was low ground. So yeah, you completely well, missed the shatter. Actually, Reinhardt's shatter can go up that wall. It can? Yeah, it's really stupid. Yeah, it's broken. So I had to stay as far away as possible from Reinhardt uh, at that point, And I was ready to save the team. 
So that's another uh, good example. This one's much more wild, uh, as you can tell, than the first clip from uh, Blizzard World. Uh, there's so much movement, and this is during the, the GOATS meta, the three tanks, three supports. Yeah, so it's basically you just want to death ball into yeah. the other team. Basically, everyone's as grouped as possible, and I think that's like one of the best times to play Mario Bros. when you're playing a team comp like that. Yeah. So in this clip, you'll see, um, I notice one of our players is getting, a, uh, he slightly overextends, but gets an extremely valuable stun on their Reinhardt. And I believe someone queued for the team to go in at that point. And as soon as uh, someone had said, go in, go in, I pop my ultimate, I'm staying behind the team, healing while doing damage at the same time. But we were so well coordinated, they really didn't need much healing. So I was focusing mostly yeah. on just destroying Pretty much just uh, killing yeah. them as quick as possible. Yeah. Okay, so one more uh, clip. This one is a little bit different because it shows positioning um, not in a traditional sense. Usually when I say when I play with Moira, you want to be close to the team. On this one, I was not. Um, I knew that the enemy team had a Symmetra and that they were just going to teleport straight onto the point. It's another Hanamura map. Yep. So they just throw down the teleporter. It's a pretty in common main. thing on Hanamura. Yeah, yeah. So they just throw down that teleporter in the uh, in main, and then they just teleport straight on the point. I knew that they were going to do that. And as a support player, you can't be close to the enemy team. Usually, you'll, so you'll die pretty much instantly if you're on point exact, on Hanamura exactly. when if they TP in. Yeah. Because so, you can't get away yeah, at all. Exactly. So I didn't want to be where they were. I wanted to be in a place where I could maximize my value while doing as much damage as possible. So I set myself up on the very high left high ground. I have the high ground! While my team contests the point. I have my ultimate, which has a range, and I position myself to be able to do damage. Mostly in this clip, I just do damage because my team had the barriers to sustain themselves. Mm -hmm. So in this case, I was able to pretty much end the fight before it started using my ultimate. Yep. That's another thing for positioning you need to know sometimes there are exceptions as long as your output is as good as it can be yeah so yeah. as long as you're not wasting ultimates it's, exactly it's fine exactly so i have a few dps clips here as well um i'm not a dps player by any means so this guy's <laughs> the this guy's the whiz let's see him but um yeah we'll see him so i have a uh a really good classic uh, McCree flanking with High Noon to get some kills, right? And the enemy wasn't aware of my positioning. So that's another thing that goes in to positioning is you need to know where the other team's at as well. Otherwise they can just do clubs like this. So I set up, I wait, I make sure that they don't see me. I pop my ultimate, lock on, get two quick kills, drop down, two kills in Overwatch on DPS, you yeah. pretty much just won the fight, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Unless your team falls over, yeah, you basically yeah. win. So that one was pretty much the enemy team's fault for not being aware of the other team's positioning. Yeah, they could have reacted faster to exactly. you high nooning. The right heart, around, they just but, turn around with yeah. the barrier, right? But they didn't, didn't react yeah. fast enough. Exactly. This one is one of my favorites, okay? Uh, I play Zenyatta. I used to play Zenyatta a lot. I still do. He's just not very good right now. Yeah. But um, this is an example of being aware of your enemy's positioning. So in this clip, um, it's after first point on Hollywood. There's a really long sight line, which is why I like to play Zenyatta on this map specifically. Um, they've just taken first point, so they're coming through this choke. I notice, and I've known for a while, that the other team has a Widowmaker, and I can see where her shots are coming from. So I'm able to tell where her positioning's at, and on Zenyatta, I charge up one of his charge volleys, and I just jump over this little haystack. Yeah, that's pretty nasty. Triple headshot her. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty nasty. That is probably one of my favorite clips and a really good example of knowing where the positioning yeah. of the other players are and how mm -hmm. it can help you. So. Yeah, because you can see where their bullets are going, so you have a general idea of exactly. where they're at. And being aware at all times, knowing where other people are, tracking them, will help so much in the gameplay. Mm -hmm. Um, last clip is called Widow Triple. Um, I get a triple kill on Widowmaker. Um, it's a kind of a lower ranked game, and I don't play DPS too much. You can kind of tell. I don't, I, don't really, I don't really flick very much. Yeah, right? no. You kind but, of line it up. Yeah, but it's a good example of where to be. Uh, my teammates push, are pushing through the, uh, the main area on the second point of Horizon Lunar Colony. So I set myself up on the top right as Widowmaker to be able to get the... Um, 
the flank shots on them as well as I can. And I managed to get pretty lucky here. Everyone else is distracted by the rest nice. of my team. So on DPS, you take, nice. you take the nice. off angles. Yeah. Not so bad. Yeah, yeah. So you got to take the off angles for DPS. That's what they would do, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. If you're playing a, especially a sniper or a hero like... Yeah, Hanzo or... Widow, you can like position yourself differently from the team because right. you can just snipe them. So what kind of position would you have for Torbjorn? For Torb? Yeah. It depended on the map, but what you want to do is the other team would have an Orisa Hog and you'd have an Orisa Hog. So you want to break their shield first so you can get more pulls off because people right. at the higher rank are really good at countering pull hook and all that stuff. So on certain maps, I would put it behind our shield because it would just lock onto the enemies behind their shield and shoot shield as well. Right. But on other maps like 2CP maps or stuff like that, I would angle it, say like the team's over here, and we're all fighting over here. I'd have my turret like over here on the side. Okay, so you just do doing, up. yeah, just doing poke style. damage, yeah. Cool. And it'll it finishes off weak people and does a lot of damage. Cool. All right, so we found a game. We have Li Jang Tower, which is actually one of the maps where Moira is not that great. So we'll go. We'll play a different hero that has a different play style. I'll go with Ana. I see we have a Doom Fist. Um, Moira's positioning doesn't necessarily allow her to heal Doomfist as much as he will probably need it. So we'll go with Ana for the long range heals. And uh, hopefully we'll be okay. Get some nano boost. Doomfist going. Alright, so we're going in. Uh, typically teams on this point will go left side uh, up into this room, but my team looks yeah, like a lot they want like to go left. They want to they wanna go straight to point. We got a nice sonic arrow up. We can see where we need to be. Notice how I'm staying in the back. I can still heal at the same time. Watch my doom fists. Taking a few hits here. Asked my Mora for healing, but she's doing her job. So uh, positioning is going to be very needed here. And yeah, your positioning is really good right here. Yeah. And so now you guys got two bigs. You can probably push on up. Keep my Moira got guys. hit. Yeah. She was pretty low from being over there. My tanks are pushed up kind of far, so I need to push up as well. But we win this anyways. Our Sigma was doing really good. So I could have pushed up there probably a little earlier and uh, stopped our Doomfist Doom from dying. Yeah, for but sure. That's all right. Uh, enemies are pushing in with Your some hog. barriers. So I need to be aware of when they push in. When my tanks back up, I need to back up. Uh, my tanks, uh, Roadhog can pretty much do his own thing. Yeah, unless usually. he gets anti it's right. uh, kind of bad. But. So this Sigma is blocking off my healing which is fine. Um, I can either just position myself around it. Right now I'm being flanked by McCree, which is all right. Everyone's low. I'm taking too much time focused on this McCree. I'll probably die to him or this Hanzo. It's all right. You guys still win the team fight, I think. Maybe we might. Not. We might. Our tanks are still up. Roadhog's got to get a few good picks here. Probably won't win that no. one. It's That's all right. So I spent a little bit too much time focusing on the McCree there, where I could have uh, outputted more healing before I died. Um, again, that's being aware of flanking. Uh, I don't have sound right now, so it's kind of hard for me to, to listen to know where it is. I might have been able to hear the McCree coming up behind me, but that's all right. Keep the other support healed up as much as possible. I think that's one of the most important things on support is to prioritize the uh, healing of your other support. Yeah. Because most supports can't heal themselves. I'm about to uh, nano, probably nano our doom fist, but we got a grab here. That's I a nice that's... sweep. Go ahead and nano boost our uh, doom fist here. That's a big anti. Yeah, so the McCree was still on the left side there. Um, again, it's kind of hard without sound to know where people are at, but that's okay. Um, you can see here, just way out in the open. That was mm -hmm. my fault right there. So that's not no big deal. You went loose here. You can probably go more. Oh, okay. Bet. Pull out the hard carry on. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a good nade. So we nade ourselves there because if we're stuck in that ultimate that traps us and does so much damage to ourselves, we want to have as much healing after the ultimate ends as possible. Yeah. And his nade allows you to do that. Yeah, because when you're slammed on the ground, you lose all your health. So my positioning is a little wonky right now. The Sigma keeps positioning his barrier between myself and the team. 
which is one reason why uh, Ana's a little weak against barrier tanks. If your team goes beyond it, they can't um, they can't receive healing. Right, so we've got to position ourselves in a more risky area to make sure our output stays okay and our team can stay up yeah. at a greater risk yourself. I see a McCree up here. Went for a little risky sleep. One there. What old percentages are you at? Uh, here, I'll check here in a sec. Trying to get my pocket. Our Zarya is only at 47%, so we don't got to worry about us having a Graviton anytime shoot. soon. No. Uh, their Zarya used theirs kind of recently. I don't know if she'll have it yet. Doomfist is getting a little low. You could probably nano him again. I might nano a Zarya, actually. Yeah, she was backing up a little bit. That's a big hit time. Yeah, so we go for those nades there. Again, I didn't have sound. Yeah, You're if you would have had sound, you would have Yeah, man. Well, that's okay. No big deal. My positioning there was pretty good. Yeah. So, Ana, you want to stay back pretty much as much as possible, uh, provided there aren't any barriers. So, we'll switch over to Moira here, which is kind of my uh, one of my best hero heroes for sure. I'll play her on the next map, whatever it is. Unless it's Gardens, and I'll play Lucio. So, one thing with Lucio that I'm not too uh, knowledgeable of are the rollouts, right? Because, uh, Pro Lucio would have been at that other wall yeah, already, yeah, yeah. right? Yep. They would have been able to know which walls to jump you, you off. You started of. it off right, but you have to like speed boost. Right. So we have a Sonic up here. Uh, we know we did have a Sonic up here. And yep, just sit at the top of that wall and. So that Sigma died before I could even boop him. But that's pretty much what you want to do as much as possible on maps where there are environmental kill protect or yeah. uh, potentials for the kills for environmental. So we want to stay with our team. Uh, being positioned with your team with Lucio as much as possible is good. So, uh, provided that you can't go for one of those um, boops for an environmental kill. And you guys can probably kill that hog. Yeah. So we've capped already. I'm going to follow our Zarya. Yeah, your team's too dead. I would go for Mercy. I will. So my Zarya's out. So notice how I jumped over the door there to try to avoid being hooked. And I did avoid it. At the end there, I'm gonna kind of, ooh, they got contests. That's not very good. So we're gonna contest point here. We need to position on the point to make sure that we don't lose the control. I'm gonna try and boot the Sigma off the point and into my team. It's worked out pretty well so far. Uh, we're gonna wait to see if this hog wants to push up a little bit closer. There's a good potential for uh, environmental kills on these two points right here. But so far, my team's doing a really good job. Uh, we'll look at everyone else. They seem to be doing okay. So they have a Pharah. We need to be aware of where she's at at all times to make sure that we're not taking massive rocket damage as much as possible. Rotate around with our team. You guys can probably speed boost into the hog. Right. Um, Lucio is one of those characters, I believe, that has the most requirement for a team. Oh, yeah, see, I wasn't aware of where the Pharaoh was, and she just dropped on me and melted me. But I believe Lucio needs a lot more team communication, for sure, to be able to take advantage of the yeah. his abilities, right? Like the speed for boost sure. and all that. You could probably speed boost and make it back, yeah. Yeah, so we still have control of the point. Oh, oh, there you go. Yeah, so so that's the rollout I should take. I don't yep. do that very often because I don't play McCree, or uh, Lucio too often in McCree. So right now, we're just going to contest point. I don't really want to shoot this Pharaoh right now. Okay, now I can He's super low. Can't get him, two of them, but that's all right. I was considering whether or not I should just circle above there and see if they yeah. notice me to stall as much as possible, but we're at 99%, so to do that. I'm pretty sure you guys have a grab coming up too. Right, so my team's kind of staggering in there. They're down with that, that might be winnable if you farm beat fast enough. No. So we get out. Need to know when the fights are over and uh, make sure that you're not near the enemy team so you don't get staggered uh, with Lucio uh, what goes with the positioning around your teammates you can actually speed boost them out of spawn to get them caught up with your team faster so I'm gonna wait for our Baptiste there he is yeah a lot of teams will and we'll just speed him up a lot of Mercy players on teams will go Lucio at the start to speed the team out and swap back to Mercy right. so we have beat here beat can actually activate in the air against uh, signal can it yes yeah, the first time I've seen that so we got hacked there, it's a little unfortunate. Yeah, that was EMP. Yeah. 
But you guys have grab coming up. Right. I think he, yeah. You guys have grab dragon. So with I, Sigma ult. Yeah, so with how fast I got beat, or how not fast I got beat, I should say, <laughs> uh, I'm going to go ahead and swap because we probably won't be able to get an ultimate by the time this, this match is over. Since it's 99 to 50 right now. So I'm going to switch to a hero that I know can get ultimate. You guys have three team wiping ults coming up, so. Right. Should be good. So important to stay with our. Uh, with our team here, we're kind of waiting for our Sigma. We were positioned a little bit out, even though we didn't have a barrier tank. So, that's, so not, yeah. that's not super good. Always be aware for boots on this side. side Sorry, right Sigma. Sorry. So there's yep. grab. We got our grab dragon. Combo. There's a hog here, which is really bad for me. Yeah. But I managed to get a kill at least. Yeah, they're fine. But my dead. team's fine. So it's just mercy and hog. Right. It's not just mercy. Yeah, so they win this. Yeah. That's easy. That changes my Cool. And we should win after this. Not bad at all. Keep our team healed up. They're all fine. Moira has a lingering healing effect, so you can just kind of spray all over. Yeah. Just for a little bit and then get that coverage healed. Sometimes it, it takes too long to activate and you die because of it. Yeah. Well, that's okay. Back up, back up, back up. So I was just a little peek about... Um, where your positioning should be, my train of thought while I play. Again, it was a little bit difficult. I did some, uh, I had some plays that weren't the best. That was just because I didn't have the headset on. I yeah, the sound, yeah, yeah, so yeah. I didn't, that makes a big difference. So my awareness was not what it should have been, and that's another thing you can listen for. Uh, if you're a player who doesn't listen to sound cues a lot, uh, your gameplay will probably look a lot like that. Yeah. Right? So yeah, you can prevent definitely yourself, need sound. can prevent yourself from dying so much just by listening. And you can hear footsteps across exactly. the map. and. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and click on the link below.